A 28-year-old black woman named Tatiana Jefferson has been shot dead in her own home by a white police officer from Fort Worth. The officer shot and killed her after seeing her shadow through a window seconds after stammering out the phrase, put your hands up, show me your hands. A Tatiana's neighbor, a 62-year-old black man, called a non-emergency number to request a wellness check for a Tatiana and her 8-year-old nephew. They figured because the door was open, a wellness check was necessary. The door was open, however, the mesh screen was locked. The neighbor says the officers did not declare who they were upon their arrival or knock before opening fire. This is the very definition of shoot first. A Tatiana Jefferson was playing video games with her eight-year-old nephew when she heard a noise in her backyard and was then shot through a window by a police officer. The police officer did not declare who he was. He did not verify whom he was dealing with. He murdered a black woman in her home in front of an eight-year-old and is now currently on administrative leave. The police, of course, are protecting this officer, refusing to release his name or information, and they then posted a picture of a gun found inside the home as if to justify the actions of the officer gunning down a woman in her own home on a wellness check. So before the police try to attempt self-defense or to spin this woman as a thug for owning a gun in Texas, I would like to play for you audio from the incident. Put your hands up! Show me your hands! Show me. That bang you hear is a gunshot. A gun fired by the police officer at someone they cannot properly identify before they're done issuing the command to make the person's hands visible. Please remember, this is through a window, so it's not even as though, one, they had the time to respond, or B, it could be verified that they heard them. You know, everything's wrong with this. Before the cop stopped speaking, you hear the gun fired. I play the clip again. Put your hands up! Show me your hands! Show me. I encourage you to consider this factual information when the attempt to convince you that the narrative should be forgiveness. As though the reaction, instead of outrage, should be Bibles and hugs. There was no threat here other than the threat that this white officer must consider all black people. And before YouTube comes at me trying to silence me once again for what, what is probably what they or a robotic algorithm is deciding is hate speech this month, I'm only presenting the information and I'm voicing an opinion that I have a right to. This isn't China. The 62-year-old neighbor in an interview said, if you don't feel safe with the police department, then who do you feel safe with? A question I'm not sure if he meant to be rhetorical, but I do have an answer. And the answer, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, is a firm belief that people need to stop calling the police for wellness checks. A, it's not going to solve this situation. It's much bigger, you know? I would love to call this crime reminiscent to the murder of a black man named Botham Jean by a police officer named Amber Geiger. Not even a couple of weeks ago was this woman sentenced. I'd love to call it reminiscent, but it is identical. Identical. So here's, here's a tweet that I genuinely enjoy and I feel it sums it all up. Jerome tweets, 28-year-old Tatiana Jefferson shot and killed by police in her own home. Police were called in the early a.m. because her door was open. White officer, seen her shadow through the window, told her to put her hands up. And in four seconds, shot her. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's entirely too generous considering the actual amount of time that the white officer gave. So I'm going to go ahead and count one, two, three, four, and then overlay that on the video starting when he starts speaking. So, you know, four seconds maybe after you're done issuing a command, that's a reasonable amount of time, assuming the person has heard you, for you to comply with that command. If the person issuing the command has made it clear that they are a figure of authority, which as we previously covered, 
they did not. So typically, it would make sense to give a couple of seconds after you're done speaking. But because in the scenario, so little time elapses before the guy opens fire, we are forced to do it when he starts speaking. So let's go ahead and overlay that count. Put your One, hands up, show me your hands. Two. Oh, so it's pretty much one second, because right on two, you know, he he opens fire. So white officer, seeing her shadow through the window, told her to put her hands up, and in one second, shot her. An open door even early in the morning doesn't mean a burglary. A person could have forgotten to close it, been expecting company, been about to leave, uh, needed both hands to carry items in. We've been airing out the house after burning food. A Tatiana Jefferson should be alive. Or she's not. Thanks to this officer that the police are protecting. As usual. As usual. M. Wharton 414 on Reddit comments. Police took a photo of a gun that she had inside her home. Surely to insinuate that she was a threat or a criminal. No mention of where it was in proximity to her lifeless body. Her neighbor, who asked for the wellness check, is consumed by guilt. Had he not called, this 28-year-old woman would still be alive. The officer, sworn to protect and serve, fired before he finished saying, Show me your hands. While she stood in her own home, looking out her own window, who amongst us, doesn't look out our window when we see someone walking around or hear something. And this dude out there shining a light after not declaring, forgive me, that he was he was police. The person writing this comment says, I don't worry about police firing upon me in my own home, but my black friends do. How dare we exist? How dare we exist? A response reads, a copy of the comment I made in another post from this. Police released photos of a gun that they found in the bedroom at the house. Police didn't say whether Jefferson was holding the weapon when they shot her, you know. You know how it is, you know what I mean? They deserved it, clearly. Is that what's up, police? Is that what's up in this instance? It seems pretty wild. They're killing us faster than we can become the boogeymen. That they're trying to make us out to be. Cop shows up. Sees person in window. Boom. Kills them. No questions. No hesitation. Just shoot first. Ask questions later. How will this be covered up? Oh, they're already running around saying she had a gun. So she must be a thug. That's the angle. Let's think about this. Worst case scenario. An officer trained in self-defense. High risk confrontation. Likely wearing bulletproof armor. Additionally, since it says the police were called, it implies more than one officer. Versus, uh, let's say just for giggles, that they were armed. Hmm. For giggles, of course. I don't think a regular person would even think of firing on a police officer in a situation like this. It's not about what they would or wouldn't do. It's about what they have the potential to do. Am I right? And since we're all guilty... Of, of of the of wrong think boy we all go in jail if I may take it back to what the 62 year old neighbor said if you don't feel safe with the police department then who do you feel safe no with? one and worse the peace of mind that people find in the idea of safety is an illusion Avail that, unfortunately, I wish didn't need to be peeled back for some, because if they've made it this far into their life, this dude made it 62 years before he saw that the world isn't exactly what people pretend that it is, you know, the, the expectation that justice will be upheld and that the law will operate within its own rules is something that a lot of people that have been on the other side can tell you is just something that we keep up for show and that people talk out of the side of their mouth like a politician the politicians could probably learn a thing or two from the people involved in the justice department in law as we know it some of us know what it's like to be pulled over 
degraded, disrespected, locked up, when we've done nothing wrong. I used to joke about how you couldn't type cop, an underage person, into a search engine without turning up a result less than a week old. And some of us convinced ourselves that maybe if we just stay home, we'll be safe. We'll be safe. But look at this. And the bottom line here is another life has been lost. And the tragic irony of it is that it was taken at the hands of somebody that was supposed to be doing the opposite. I have little to say about this. It's October. I would rather be reading some, you know, really silly and all borderline comedic story that somebody made up about a call coming from inside the house instead reality is striking and i guess that's what separates this from a lot of the other channels as if as if a heart could break more i, I i'm sorry to the family of the people that are going to have to deal with this cuz this coward that is going to be protected by the police didn't just rob someone of their life. He, you know, he, tra he traumatized the, the nephew. I could show y'all pictures of, of the gun that they're posting. And it's weird because it's like they're probably putting out more than they mean to. Some of the pictures contain inconsistencies as it pertains to the placement. Y'all manipulating the evidence and showing us that you're doing it? Is this done deliberately to mock us? And you're going to portray this intelligent university graduate as a thug i know you're gonna do this in texas she has a weapon she's a woman it is our right to defend ourselves how many more Hi, my name is Tatiana Jefferson, and I'm doing lab exercise five um, for AMP1 lab. This here is the cranial cavity. This is the thoracic cavity here. This is the ventral cavity. The ventral cavity includes um, all of the front cavities, which would be the thoracic cavity, the abdominal pelvic cavity, the abdominal cavity, and 